To set up a referenced relationship, we need to start by updating the data source view. So I'm going to add in a couple of tables. We'll add in DIM geography and DIM customer and fact internet sales. I'm going to rename them for consistency just to make their Names a little user friendly, a little shorter. And then we're going to use the dimension wizard to quickly set up the two dimensions. So I'm just going to keep them very simple for now. For geography, I'll have the geography key for the lowest level. And I'll add in city, state, province, country, so this should be country, And we'll make a little hierarchy out of this. So we'll have country, state, province, and city. And we are going to make geography key hidden. And then for the customer, We'll just use the customer alternate key as the customer's number from our source system. Yes, we do want to keep the related table of geography. And we're going to call this the customer. And we'll use gender and state province. So we need to include one attribute from geography in order to set it up as a referenced relationship for our fact table. So that's simple and straightforward. We're going to create a cube to bring together these dimensions. So I'll just set up a separate cube for this based on internet sales. So we'll just pick up a couple of measures here and our related dimensions, state, geography, customer. We're going to ignore the internet sales. We'll call this sales. And let's just quickly set up our formatting. And notice that even though I selected those dimensions, my geography, did not get added because it does not have a relationship with the fact table. So I need to add it in again and then on the dimension usage we set up our referenced relationship. So internet sales does not have a direct relationship with geography but we can set up a referenced relationship based on an intermediate dimension customer in this case. So in the reference dimension, the geography dimension, we have the state province attribute, which corresponds to the state province attribute in our customer dimension. In other words, the intermediate dimension. Notice that materialize is set by default, and that's usually a good thing. So we'll keep that. And then we can deploy this. Notice that we have repeating values here, which is usually indicative of dimension usage problems. When we check the customer dimension usage, we see the correct customer key relationship. And when we check geography, 
we see the correct relationship here for the state province level. So let's go back to the cube for a moment. When we expand country, we see repeating values are only at the country level, but not at the state province level. And then when we drill down to cities, we again have the repeating values problem. Now I know why I don't see values at the city level, and that's because with my customer dimension, I only included state province, and when I set up the cube design, my relationship was defined strictly on the state province level. So analysis services is not going to be able to see lower than the dimension attribute that we've specified here. So city or postal code or geography key, anything that's a lower level attribute will not be used. So when I'm seeing a country not display correctly at the upper level, then that implies a problem with relationships in the dimension. So when I created this hierarchy, notice I have this little warning here, and that tells us that attribute relationships don't exist. So you, we need to be very careful with attribute relationships. So it knows how to go from geography key to roll up to state province, but it doesn't know at this point how to go from state province to country. I need to define these relationships. So I always like to start with the lowest level and say, okay, geography key rolls up into city. That relationship is correct. Cities roll up into state state provinces, so now that is correct, state province rolls up into country, and so now we have corrected the attribute relationships so that the correct calculations can be made in the hierarchy. When we go back to the dimension structure, we see that the warning is cleared up, so let's deploy this change, and we get an error. So now what this is saying is that we have a city that has a duplicate key. So oftentimes there are cities that have the same name, but they're in different states. And so what we'll need to do here is to set up city so that it's not based on simply the key of city, but we're going to create a composite key. We'll do city and state in here. And then we will have the name column still just display city, but by creating a composite key, that should resolve the duplicate problem for cities of the same name that are based in different places. So now we have successful deployment. We'll go to the sales cube, reconnect, and now we see that correctly the order quantity and sales amount is calculating. So even though geography is not stored in the fact table, analysis services is able to go from the fact table to customer over to the geography information based at the state province level and make its calculations and roll things up to the country level. Now again, if we go down to city, we just get these repeating values. And if you find that that's undesirable, if that's confusing to users, what you can do is go over to the dimension usage and then select the measure group. There's a property at the measure group that is the ignore unrelated dimensions. And if we set that to false and then redeploy our change, by setting that to false, it basically says, uh, don't repeat those values, just show blanks. So let's reconnect here. And so it's your choice whether you want repeating values or here we just can't even drill down into city because there's no values there. So we, we can't get to city from our sales. And that's correct. Now if you want to see those cities, you just right click and say show empty cells and you can see that they're there just empty.